What's up, plant people? My name is Stacia, and this is Oops, I Soiled My Planties. For those of you who are coming back, welcome back, crazy kids. And for those of you who are new and just joining us, welcome. We are absolutely glad to have you. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a collective plant haul. The last time I did this, I did it for February and March, and this time I'm going to do it for April and May. I did happen to find a couple of plants in Walmart when I had to go one day, so I gloved up. I masked up, I headed out into Satan's den, and I got quite a few things. So it's gonna take a few minutes. If you wanna hang out and check it out, all right, let's do that. If not, go check out one of my other videos. Alrighty, so as you can see here behind me, I do have a few caladiums. Um, I mean, my friend Nikki over at Plants, Pots, and Whatnots got a few of these and kind of touched a little place within my heart that made me want to get them. So I got, I think this is the Miss Muffet caladium, and it's very cute. It seems to be spreading out a little bit. Um, I'm thinking I might need to put it in a slightly brighter area because they do, well, they don't like bright light, but they like very indirect light. And I think I have it pulled a little bit too far back. So next, I have no idea what kind this is, but it's pretty and I liked it and I brought it home. And they're so cheap at Walmart. I mean, here, I think I paid like $5.97 for these three, and I think I paid like $2.67 for this one. Um, then I also got this. God only knows what kind, but it's a lovely caladium. And then I think Nikki told me this one was called the White Queen. I'm definitely digging them. I'm waiting to see what happens as they get bigger. Um, they do like to be moist, I tell you that. I've learned they're thirsty girls. Very, very thirsty girls. And I did a video a while back repotting my Alocasia portii that I had gotten. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way real quick because um, it did not fare well. This is where the leaf belongs. It was there, it completely turned yellow and fell off. However, this started happening. So, uh, all right, I, I'm gonna probably cut this back because I know it's dying off. So I'm gonna let it, I, don't, I just don't wanna mess with this plant yet. So I'm just gonna let it sit until it can't anymore. And it's in a huge pot but the root system on that is pretty good size. And then next, I went to a place called City Oasis over in Orlando. I like that place. They have some really pretty plants. So I always get some decent stuff there and I found one of the, I think it's Black Beauty Colocasia. It's the velvety black. Yeah, mm -hmm. I brought it home and it does not like me. I'm still trying to figure it out because there's still some hope left, I think, maybe, but I'll show you. So this leaf was already torn when I got it, and it doesn't look too bad, but this was the newest leaf, and it has shriveled to nothing. Um, now it has this new leaf coming out. It has this, you know, a couple of them are shriveled. I'm, I'm trying, people. If you have any suggestions, please leave them for me in the comments, because I was dying to find this plant. I think it's beautiful. And um, I'm doing it a great disservice at this point. So, now that we've gotten the bad out of the way, 
I picked this up for in my bedroom because I don't have grow lights up in my bedroom anymore, so I get the kind of lower light plants. And it's sitting pretty close, well, right next to a west-facing window. Um, it is a pearls and jade pothos, and I love it. It's already starting to get some new leaves right here. But um, I think it'll do just fine in that bedroom in there. Okay. On to better things. Oh, inside the portii, if you do remember, was this plant. And it's not doing bad. As you can see, this leaf is doing just fine and it's gained a second leaf. This leaf was a little damaged when it was coming out. So we'll just watch for the new leaves. And I am an alocasia and a colocasia lover. Can you guys tell? Uh, I'm actually gonna get to that updated house plant tour I keep promising you guys. Mm-hmm. Yep. Soon. Soon. All right. And also, do you remember? I did a video on this, a rare plant haul. So this is kind of an update. Um, this is the crystallinum that I had gotten on it at an Etsy shop that I was kind of disappointed about because, as you can see, it was not supposed to look like that when I got it, but whatever. So this leaf is still here holding on, doing well. And right there is the new growth. So we're just going to wait and see what happens. I'm a little excited. I'm hoping it's a pretty good sized leaf. That would be amazing. I would be totally, totally cool with that. And then if any of you follow me over on my Instagram channel, you saw um, I picked up a really cool plant at my local grocery store for 20 bucks. It's a philodendron birkin. This thing is amazing. This is the newest leaf it's putting out. It's still really soft, um, doing well, growing big. Don't know what much to oh well i mean i guess i could give you like these like to be in bright indirect light definitely like to stay moist the crystallinum um i have it sitting in a humidity case but i keep the doors open for the majority of the time um just to let some airflow in i'm actually looking to get a fan to put in there because i don't want to have to keep the doors open i am in florida but my air conditioner has a dehumidifier on it so my house gets down to 40 percent humidity a lot and that's a pain in the butt when you like tropical plants so as far as what i can see with the alocasias and colocasias they seem to like it pretty moist not wet but they like it moist. They don't really like to dry out. When they dry out a little bit, I think that's what happened to that colocasia, that black beauty. I think that's the problem. So previously, I had an alocasia friedeck. It was one of my very first rare plants on the velvety side of things. And I left it in its nursery pot too long. It had root rot. I didn't realize it until I was down to my last leaf and it completely died off. Um, it started to come back and I've managed to kill that too. So I've got another fry deck, a little baby one I showed you in my plant haul before, the last one I did, and it's still doing just fine. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll link it, go check it out. And then uh, you'll kind of see when I do my tour what I've done to my home. It's getting ridiculous, you guys. All right, so next I've got my replacement Alocasia fry deck. I found this at City Oasis as well, the little shop that I like in Orlando. This is its newest leaf. Um, let's see if we can get a head test. This is a pretty full plant. so And it's actually three plants in there. So that's a head test for you. And it's still not hardened off. It's actually working on it. Um, and like the other alocasias, it likes to stay damp but not soaked. And then last but not least my little baby black velvet alocasia that i got at city oasis it was super cute it's getting a new leaf right there and um yeah it makes me happy so thanks you guys for hanging out and watching my plant haul i did kind of run through everything quickly if you have any questions absolutely leave them down in the comments tell me what your favorite plant was with this haul and like i said if you would please please give me tips on that colocasia I'm not, I'm not doing something right. And as I always say, come back. Let's hang out again. Bring your friends. If you don't want to bring your friends, that's cool because you guys are the reason I'm here and I'm doing this. I'll see you in my next one and uh, peace.
Peace out. My cat's on the table, so excuse if the tripod wiggles. Kita. Kita. Hey. <clears throat> good? That's all good. Thank you, love. You're I'll see you when you get back. What's up, my plant people? My name is Stacia, and this is Oops, I Soiled My Pant. I almost said panties. That's good. Come on in. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching. And as I always say, come back, bring your friends. If you don't want to bring your friends, that's cool. Oh, shit, I messed up because you distracted me. Stay there for just a minute. I'm almost done. <clears throat> I don't want to move the stand and everything. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus.